Hello, I'm Roberto Olivo and I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. And today I would like to talk to you briefly about anxiety, about fear, um, and about how to get rid of it, how to reduce it, how to minimize it, how to process it. Um, so the opposite of anxiety or fear it is uh, the inner peace. The inner peace that we might achieve um, within ourselves that will help us to free oneself from all these fears, um, of all these perceptions, of all these negative thoughts that we might have. Okay, so let's talk about first anxiety. Anxiety is really fear, and it's fear about many things. Fear about being judged, fear about failing, fear about being rejected, um, fear about being abandoned, fear about being criticized, fear about um, no achieving, fear about uh, confrontation. Um, so it's fears, fears that we have about the outside, uh, fears that we have about the people around us. Um, and those fear comes from this perception of how people outside, uh, how the environment outside is looking at me. It's looking about what I do, um, how I look, um, how I think, how I speak, how I behave, etc. And usually in my sessions with my patients, one of the um, the slogans that I tell them all the time that I use for myself it's it's as follows I tell them I want you to practice this slogan of whatever you think of me is none of my business um, why I use it and why I recommend it because in reality I need to let go of my fantasy about the control that I could have over other people and I need to let go of the fantasy of what they think of me um, and how I could um, impress, how could I modify it, how could I um, tailor uh, what they think of me, how could I make a good impression, how could, what do I worry so much about the views or the perception that they have of me. Um, what is important is what I think of me. So whatever you think is none of my business, but whatever I think of me is 100% my business. How do I change how I invest my time into what they think versus into what I think? How do I compete with myself instead of competing with my neighbor, instead of competing with my classmate, instead of competing with another therapist, instead of competing with another coworker? I need to compete with myself. How could I become a better therapist from the one existed yesterday? How could I become a better friend? How could I become a better brother? How could I become a better, a better father? How could I become a better uncle? How could I become a, um, a better person? How could I become a better citizen? How do I become a better individual who helps people? How do I improve me? That's where I need to invest my energy. Um, now, when I start letting go the fantasy of I need to control what they think of me, I need to control the perception of me because they might leave me, because they might judge me, because they might um, have negative things about me, because they might have a different perspectives about me. When I let go of what you think of me, then I have all this time. Then I have this energy that I could invest in myself, that I could invest in my inner peace, that I could go back inside and center myself and figure out what makes me happy, who makes me happy, what can I do to, to create meaning into my life, what can I do to create joy into my life, what can I do to create an expression of who I am, how could I have a better relationship with the universe? How could I have a better relationship with 
the people around me? How could I have a better relationship with myself? How do I take care of myself? How do I brush my teeth every day? How do I take a bath or a shower every day? How do I eat every day? How do I have sex every day? How do I embrace someone every day? What kind of activities I do every day that gives me joy, that gives me satisfaction, that make me feel centered? How do I connect with the universe? How do I connect with a higher power if I believe in one? How do I connect with my best friend? How do I connect with my siblings? How do I connect with my family members? How do I connect with uh, my spouse? How do I connect with my children, etc., etc.? How do I connect? And how these connections are, are going to be positive? And how those connections that are not positive, those connections that are toxic, how do I cut them? How do I let them go? Um, I need to accept that I'm not going to be liked by everybody. And that I do not like everybody. I'm a therapist. And I want to say that I like everybody. But in reality, it's like I do not like everybody. Um, there's some nasty people out there that I do not like, with whom I don't want to have any contact, with whom I don't have any relationship, and with whom if they want to approach me, I will cut, cut them and let them free. They, they need to be whatever they need to be, um, whatever they need to be. Uh, I just need to know that it's not with me. Uh, and those who are for me, I'm going to be here for them. Um, be realistic about who I am. Be realistic about what I want. Um, if you like Chinese food, go for it. If you like Mexican food, go for it. I'm going to go for the I'm going to go for the food I like. I'm not going to go for the food that you like. I'm not going to dress the way you like. I'm not going to walk the way you want me to walk. I'm not going to speak the way you want me to speak. I'm going to speak the way I speak. I'm going to dress up the way I dress up. I want to um, entertain myself the way, the, the way I want to entertain myself. Getting myself to know myself is the first step in achieving inner peace. To let go. To let go of this fantasy that this pen belongs to me. This pen is, I borrow it. I'm borrowing it. And I will use it as long as I can before it goes someplace before it changes hands and, and I leave it at the bank or I leave it with the secretary or I leave it with, with um, at my desk and, and my dog chew on it. Uh, it's borrowed. It doesn't belong to me. All the material things that I'm borrowing right now, um, they will go out to somebody at one point when I make transition, when I die. Um, how I use what I have, how do I enjoy what I have. Um, I'm going to enjoy my car for as long as I drive it. But at one point, it's going to go. So these fantasies of you belong to me, it belongs to me, needs to be a um, view with the reality that I only enjoy what I have for that moment. So to achieve inner peace, concentrate in you. Invest energy in you. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go of the fantasy of holding tight to something that it doesn't belong. Nothing belongs to you but your life. The only thing that belongs to you, your soul, your brain, how you speak, what you see. The rest, let go. And you will achieve inner peace and you will let go of anxiety. If you have any more questions, please contact me. I'd be more than happy to help you. I'd be more than happy to refer you out to a psychiatrist, to a mental health provider. Uh, we could set an appointment if I have some uh, openings. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'd be more than happy to help you out. Okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.